Hello and welcome to another feature preview and today we'll talk about the automatic LOD implemented by Juan or Redux. And as you can see, the focus of this code is to automatically change the wireframe or like the vertice count or face count, however you prefer to understand this, to lower the amount of information being drawn in the scene over imported assets. Here I have a simple scene which I set up to exacerbate this effect. This nice bike was made by too many demons. So thank you. This bike has a lot of vertices, as you can see, a lot of triangles, but Godot is handling it fairly well. And as you can see, things change when I zoom in or out or approach or go farther away from the bike. This is totally editable. If you select your mesh instances and come into geometry, you'll see LOD bias, which is basically what's the distance from the center of the mesh that the LOD should change. As you can see, there, there are many levels, so it's not quite linear, but you can understand if it's a large value, it won't change unless you're pretty far away. And if it's a small value, will change even if you are close. And this effect is even more pronounced if you see in wireframe. As you can see, this is the, the normal bike. If I go a little bit far away, suddenly the bike is totally broken down now. This is the focus of the LOD implementation. So I'll show you a different scene. This scene is made by Claudio Matteo Molina. Thank you, man, for your scene is pretty nice. A lot of vertices and triangles, though less than the bike. But as you can see here, also Godot is handling it very well. And if I go far away, I see things changing. And once again, this is totally editable. So these meshes are the meshes responsible by the terrain. I can say the lot bias can be one. So now it does near. Or now I, I really need to be beside it to, to, to make a change. So use this with caution, but at the same time, depending on your mesh and also the resolution. To bring in a mesh, I'll just give this example because it doesn't work by default. For example, in the bike scene, I can double click and see the new importer. My root is 0.1 in this case because the bike is fairly large and I have to deselect the create shadow mesh. For some reason, if I leave this selected, you'll see what happens. So I'll re-import the scene. Just make sure here. Okay, I'll, I'll re-import it differently. And you'll see that if I change the LOD so that I can properly see it, close by. This happens and it's related to how the shadows are being generated. I'm pretty sure there will be a fix before Godot 4 comes out, but if you want to try it out now or just implement it something for your own, just remove the create shadow meshes. And once you reimport, I'll just open it again. Come back to here. I'll put a small geometry so I can see, and yeah, it's working again. So thank you very much, Juan. Also, thanks for all the developers that are making Godot 4 better. And thank you for watching.